Hi folks, I'm in Cuba National Park and there are no restaurants for kilometers around. Not even a small fruit store, not even a small food shop. So I ran out of food some time ago and then I remembered though some of my big fruit actually have edible seeds. Those are the seeds of the champedak. Look at the size of those seeds. They are like the size of yeah, chestnuts and they are supposed to taste like chestnuts. So I boiled them. Well, I boiled them. The water smelled very nicely of champedak. This stops it. I haven't boiled it. In the boiled ones, the upper layer seems to come off. I think I might have eaten something like this in Peninsular Malaysia, maybe in Ipoh. There were some strange boiled nuts they gave me. They look pretty much like this. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know if I bought them long enough though. Hmm. Hmm. They taste me more or less well done. Well, I guess you remove the skin and eat everything else. And then that they look like chestnuts. They kind of taste like chestnuts. People say about all those nuts they taste like chestnuts. Yes, they taste more or less like chestnuts. Those are the seeds of different Moraishi species, like this is the Champedak. And some time ago I boiled some Tarap. You can also buy a lot of other. I guess all the big seeds of big Moraishi fruit in Europe are figs and mulberries. The seeds are so small, you eat them together with the fruit and nobody would try roasting or boiling them, but here... <coughs> with fruit which are 2, 3, 4, 5, sometimes up to 30, 40, 50, 60 kilogram, you get some pretty big seed and you can boil them or roast them and they are pretty tasty. Well, hmm, let's see, what does it taste like? Hmm. Not simply a chestnut. There's some mild flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's more potato like or cassava like than chestnut like. But no, it's not exactly the potato flavor. No. Tastes like a chestnut that tastes slightly different. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. <clears throat> okay, folks. Stay tuned for more fruit and maybe seed videos from the jungles of Borneo. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.